Photography is the art of capturing an image by recording the light reflecting from an object. But what happens when the photographer is always in the dark? Yeah, in this week's Maury Stories, Maury Glover introduces us to a Forest Lake man who is changing perspectives on what the visually impaired can do. On the frozen shores of Forest Lake. I love coming out being on the fresh air and, and uh, you know, love being out in the cold. Uh, doesn't really bother me all that much. Chuck Roloffs is a man on a mission. Right now, I'm looking at these ice houses over here that I really um, enjoy. You see, Chuck has an eye for photography. It's pure Minnesota, as we all know. That allows him to see the world through a different lens. Photography is very healing uh, for me. It's very therapeutic. Um, it's a stress reliever for me, so if I'm having a bad day or if I'm going through a rough time, I grab my camera and immediately I, I am in my, what they call, happy place. Roloff's picked up his hobby four years ago when a friend gave him a camera. Since then, he's taken tens of thousands of photographs from landscapes to portraits and everything in between, even though he is legally blind. When my mom was born, she had measles during the pregnancy, um, and that caused the optic nerve to not, you know, not develop correctly. And so um, I've had this from being born. Roloffs has a condition called nystagmus, which causes his eyes to move from side to side involuntarily as well as epilepsy. This one over here, that's what I'm known for, is that unique perspective or angle that most people don't think about. As a result, he can't drive, and he has to work much harder to bring his subjects into focus. You might see it 200 feet. I see it 20 feet. And so um, that's probably the best way to, to explain what, my, what I deal with. Just an example, like if I'm in the field, and there'll be like an eagle flying by with my eyesight, you know, nine times out of ten, I'll miss it because I just, I can't see it because it's either too far away or it, it goes by too fast. People hear that term and they automatically assume that you can't see anything, but it's a, it's a, um, and part of my mission with this whole thing is to kind of bring awareness of what legally blind actually is and what people who are legally blind, what they can and cannot do. For some people, the idea of a blind photographer is an oxymoron. Wow. That's typically what I hear, wow, a lot. Um, and like, no way. But Faith Roloff says it's easy to see how her husband's new hobby has changed him. He's more um, outgoing, and he used to be where it's like he would rarely talk to people if he didn't know them. Now it's to the point where I'm like, okay, we need to stop the Minnesota goodbye. Time to go. <laughs> Honestly, I love the rocks along the side of the of the, the lake here, and in, in the summertime, you have the water, you know, kind of splashing over. For Chuck, capturing the power and beauty of Mother Nature on camera is a picture perfect pastime. And for those who see his often stunning images. He hopes it's an eye-opening experience. I really want to, through my work, tell people, look, you know, if you have any kind of limitation, it doesn't matter what it is, you can do what you set your mind to do. If you have a passion for something, go do it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't or cannot do something. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover, Box 9 News. Very talented. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. That's right. Great yeah. advice. Roloffs has sold a few prints of his photo of his photographs. He recently held an ex exhibition of his work at Woodbury City Hall. He also posts many of his pictures on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll add links to both at box9.com. Those pictures certainly are a day brightener. They just yeah. make you feel good.